I think there's the potential for renewed enthusiasm about the importance of face-to-face -face meetings. When I'm talking with colleagues and students, um, I get a sense that they really miss in-person trust building and relationships and interactions. Um, and so I think there's the chance for renewed vigor with those. Now the wisdom that we need, I think, is discernment, right? It's really easy to tell narratives of all travel is bad or all travel is good for that matter. Um, and so I think we really need to start having more complex conversations that say, yeah, you probably don't need to jet across the ocean to deliver a document, but it's actually really valuable to travel to experience new cultures or meet family or build trusted research collaborations. A negative outcome I worry a lot about is the divergence between different groups in society. I worry a lot about the way that this pandemic has um, created worlds in which there are those of us who are privileged, who can work from home, who can control our risk, who have lots of medical support, versus those who are uh, more exposed to working in essential roles uh, in the front lines, um, who don't have that ability to work from home who sometimes are in much more financially precarious positions um, and historically have often um, not been granted the same kinds of powers in society. And so I'm, I'm really worried about what economists have talked about as the K-shaped recovery, right? The splitting between the rich and the poor, but not just in economics, in every facet of our, our lives in terms of who has power, who has voice, who has risk exposure, all of those elements. I think the wisdom there is all about empathy and compassion. It's about realizing that my lived experience is not the same as yours, and that there are systematic contributors to the differential ways that we experience life. And so we need empathy and compassion to help build social systems that are more accessible and equitable and inclusive. I mean, it's hard not to point to compassion again. Um, the importance of, of being good to yourself and those around you during um, these really remarkable times and remembering that the world that we've built, the kinds of technical infrastructures that make it so that we have to keep working during these abnormal times and uh, try to push the same level of productivity, um, these are technical infrastructures that are exerting a lot of control over our lives right now. Um, and so I think being compassionate with ourselves, with each other, is so critically important. I'm reminded um, of something I was, uh, was told recently about how the pandemic has really brought out the fact that this is a time when all of us need some slack and no one has slack to give. Um, and so I think if we can find that kind of compassion and, and those ways of giving other people slack when we all desperately need it, that will be helpful.